I thought it was important to explain exactly what a bucket handle tear looks like. So I, do, I drew this picture, left knee, femur, tibia, lateral meniscus, cross section, medial meniscus, cross section, ACL, PCL for reference, trochlear groove. I did not include the patella. Here is the, so if we take, or if we look at the medial meniscus and we look at it from above, a, a tear would look like this from above, longitudinal tear, basically from, from posterior to anterior. In this particular uh, a picture, I do not show it displaced. It is still in normal position, but you still see the gap. Once this becomes displaced, this portion right here flips, and it looks like this. So this is a non-displaced longitudinal tear, but once it starts to flip back and forth, that's called a bucket handle tear. There is the bucket handle tear. Why is it called a bucket handle tear? Because it actually looks like the handle of a five gallon bucket and it actually can go back and forth like the bucket hand like a bucket handle when it's in a reduced position it may not cause that much pain patients are actually able to function with some pain but once it is displaced like this the knee will lock so just to demonstrate what i'm talking about this would be a non-displaced bucket handle or non-displaced tear but once it does this now you have this bucket handle portion which would lock the knee so if we were to draw there would be a big piece of meniscus over here but there would be a portion that would go like this and it would be caught and this piece basically would be over there and the goal of surgery therefore is to repair this tear in a way that it seals itself up on its own and is no longer unstable. So what's done is sutures are placed. Prior to suturing, this gap is roughened up, bleeding is created, sutures are placed and tightened, and the gap is compressed. 